Welcome to Post Work Detox Flow. This flow is designed to open up your posture, open your hips, reconnect to your breath, and slow things down as you come to the end of your day. So starting on our knees or in a comfortable seated position, resting our hands gently on our legs, let's close our eyes and begin to tap into our breath. Making sure as we inhale, our belly is filling up with air. And as we exhale, our belly is shrinking. Shoulders relax, face relaxed. What we wanna do today is counter all of the sitting and repetitive motions we did during work. A lot of us are seated during work or are doing manual labor type of things. So it's really important that we open things up at the end of the day. We're gonna open up our posture, our hips and our airways. As we inhale, reach your arms high. As you exhale, open your chest, open your elbows wide for cactus. Dropping your hands all the way down, getting ready for your next inhale, arms to the sky. Six total cactuses with a mini back bend. Again, opening your posture, getting rid of any negative or stale energy in your body from the day. Ready, shift into child's pose. Or downward facing dog. Wherever you are, it depends on how you're feeling today and maybe what work was like today. But find your pose and connect to your breath. If you're in downward facing dog, try to create a capital A with your body and feel free to pedal your feet or shift your hips side to side, whatever feels good today. When you're ready, lower down through your knees all the way down onto your belly, untuck your toes and bring both elbows under your shoulders for Sphinx pose. What we're trying to do is broaden our collarbones, open our heart, open our throat, and relax our face. Feel free to stay in Sphinx pose for another few breaths or open things up into seal pose. We go into seal pose by straightening our arms. The closer that your hands are in seal pose to your body, the more of a back bend you're going to feel. Release your hands under your shoulders, making sure our toes are untucked. When we inhale, we squeeze our butt and lift our chest off of the mat. As we exhale, we lower back down. As we inhale, maybe we reach up a little higher with our spine, our back muscles, and our little bit of our hands. Again, as we exhale, we lower back down. Let's do a few more flows on our own. Finding more space and you feel good, you can even open up into up dog flow where you're lifting your hips off of the mat, squeezing your butt still, and then you exhale, gently lower your hips and then lower your rib cage down. Use your breath as a tool to restore yourself back into equilibrium do you feel satisfied in your cobra slash up dog flow let's create a pillow with our hands bring our heels to 90 degrees and wipe our windshield clean windshield wipers 
You can feel this in the hips and the lower back. A lot of the moves we're doing in this 20 minute flow is countering all of the sitting and repetitive motions that we did earlier. When you're ready, shift into child's pose. Big inhale in your child's pose. And when you're ready to travel forward, we exhale, roll our back forward and up. As we inhale, we shift into up dog or cobra. On our next exhale, we roll our back towards our hips and heels. And we take another inhale from child's pose before we move. Exhale as we roll forward. Inhale as we go into cobra up dog. Exhale as we roll backwards. Inhale at home base, which is child's pose. Let's do about two or three more on your own. If you'd prefer to be still, go ahead and find child's pose. Otherwise, continue to flow. Finish your last spinal wave. From a hands and knees position, let's start by shifting our right foot forward. From your low lunge position, plant your left hand inside of your right foot. As you inhale, we spin open towards our bent knee, spinning all the way open to the sky. As we exhale, we roll our chest back down towards our hip and our knee. A few more on your own. As we exhale, we shift back into half split, pointing your toe back towards your face. Every inhale, we shift forward, low lunge. Every exhale, we shift back, half split. Listen to your body. We're not forcing anything right now. All we're doing is opening and restoring our body. When you're ready, switch sides, lunge twist on your other side, left foot forward, right hand planted inside of your left foot. As you inhale, we spin our left arm open. As we exhale, we close our rib cage back down. Not only are we twisting our spine, opening our lungs, opening our shoulders, but we're also stretching our right hip flexor in this position. Got a lot going on. Take your time, shifting now into our half split flow, exhaling as we move into our half split, inhaling as we shift forward into our runner's lunge, our low lunge. Again, please feel free to use this flow, this practice, anytime that you're feeling stressed, anytime that you're feeling stiff, anytime that you just want to open things up and maybe just get ready for a deeper, restful state. Diving a little deeper into our hips, alternating hip circles. So as I start, I kick my right heel to the sky, 
bring it into a fire hydrant position and then towards my elbow back to home base then i switch once i've done one on each side then i reverse the position reverse the flow i'm bringing my right knee to my right elbow then into fire hydrant then into a donkey kick and back down to home base switching sides so you have hip circles on each side once you've done one on each side you switch the way you rotate your hip we have four total on each side Once you've done four total on each side, lie on your side, keep your knees tucked towards your waist, arms in a stack. Your top hand, as you inhale, is going to drag a big circle over your head. As you come all the way across, you exhale, bring your arm right over your chest. Four on each side on your own. If anything is feeling extra stiff or tight, please feel free to stretch in that position. Maybe pause the video and delight in that beautiful stretch. Your body needs it right now. The more that we take care of ourselves, especially at the end of a long day, more we're able to give others around us the better the quality of our work and also we're more likely to be motivated and inspired to go above and beyond with what we do at work rather than going through the motions because we're tired and tight and don't really want to be there This video is only about 20 minutes, so 20 minutes out of your day to recover full body, mind and body. I think it's worth it. You're worth it. Once you've done four arm circles on each side, just to reverse the sitting position that we've been in all day, we're going to go into a bridge position. Arms can be on your mat palms down or you can interlace fingers under yourself you can also prop up a block which if you've had a long day i recommend you prop a block under your lower back or tailbone and just allow your hips to be in this position whether we're driving or sitting at work or walking forward which a lot of us walk forward and don't walk backwards to work or wherever we're going. Our hips are in a tightened position, a, a contracted, shortened position. So here we're just opening things up. Keeping your chin out of your chest. Continue to breathe fully and deeply. Go ahead and lower one vertebrae down at a time. Moving into our relaxed butterfly, bringing both soles of our feet together as close together as possible. Heels as close to your butt as possible. And then we allow our knees to open up. If it's too much just to let gravity take over, you can also prop pillows or blocks under your knees for support. Again, if you've had a long day, I highly recommend you take the restorative option. Take three more big breaths in this position, 
allowing your hips to surrender and melt to the floor like butter. In your own time, slowly roll to your right or left side into fetal position and up into a seated position that is comfortable to you. Once you're in your seated position, as you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest and roll it across your collarbone. As you inhale, open your throat and drop your ear to the other side neck circles so exhaling as we go down inhaling as we open up once you've done three circles switch sides For the next 30 seconds, just closing our eyes and feeling the difference in our body and mind after that 20 minute flow. It is very much possible to move and operate in the world from a place of ease, relaxation, a playfulness keeping our heart open and our body mobile and free. And if you have any stress from the day, it's really important that along with mobilizing your body and connecting to your breath, connecting your mind and body, it's important to rest. It's important to hydrate and it's important to eat nutritious foods that will help you recover and help you feel energized for the next day. Thank you for flowing with me. Hope you feel better. Use this anytime you need to relax after work and open things back up. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. If we're feeling stress over and over again, whether it be after work or after a long day, it's important that we reflect on ourselves and confront the actual source of what's stressing us. Usually, it's some form of resistance to what is, to what's happening, whether it be work or family or whatever it is. Meditation is a great tool to help you put yourself at ease and give yourself clarity to make a step in a more aligned direction.